The Canon Vixia camcorder puts today's cutting edge of creative video technology right in your hands. The rest is learning about and practicing your professional technique. Over the next few minutes, we'll discuss all types of techniques to creating professional looking video using many of the advanced features on your Vixia camcorder and some of the most frequently shot real life scenarios. Your camera zoom is both simple to use and incredibly useful, but it can also be one of the most misused techniques in amateur videos. An occasional smooth zoom can be nice. For example, a slow zoom in on your talent's face can add intensity to a scene. However, in most cases, you should use your zoom to frame your shot, and when you have everything just right, hit record. One other artistic trick you should try when framing is to back the camera up away from your subject and zoom in instead of just positioning the camera closer. This will alter the depth of field and the relationship of your subject to the background, producing some very interesting changes. To sum up, in general it's best to minimize all pans and zooms. As with a shaky camera, unnecessary zooms take your viewers out of the moment. Basic shot composition is easy to learn, but true cinematic artistry takes a lifetime to master. Even so, there's one simple three-word idea that says it all. Keep it interesting. This shot is boring because it's just a static lockdown shot of a subject in the center of the frame. But look at this. It's called the rule of thirds. It's more like the rule of four intersecting lines. When composing your shot, think of your viewfinder as being crisscrossed by two horizontal and two vertical lines. The center of interest should fall along those lines or near one of the four intersections not the center of the image. When shooting people, keep their eyes up in the upper third of the frame, like this. And don't cut off their chin, especially when they're talking. You might also want to move them off to one side or the other, and I determine which side by giving them some look room in the direction they're facing. But never squish their face up against the edge of the frame, like this. Also, if you're shooting a moving target, give them some walk room in front of them. Final word about composition. Proper positioning of foreground subjects or objects can make all the difference between shots that are just okay and clips that will be winners for years to come. Keeping your movies interesting should always be your goal, and framing your subjects with natural or unique foreground elements can be a very simple yet extremely effective way to get just the right shot. The background may not be as important as your foreground, but a little attention to what is behind your subject can save you the embarrassment of having an unwanted object seeming like it's attached to your subject. Getting your camcorder off your shoulder away from eye level leads to more interesting, more unexpected, more meaningful and more enjoyable shots. Never hesitate to get low and shoot up, or tilt your LCD down and shoot high. Put your camera at the level of whatever your subject is and shoot from that unique point of view perspective. Tilt your camera slightly to create a world just slightly off balance. Place your camera as if it were an outside observer or an inside participant in the action. All these tips make for a more interesting, more memorable, and more meaningful video. We've already talked about camera angles and shot selection in the context of keeping it interesting. Now, let's add in the concept of coverage. Coverage of your subject includes shooting the same scene multiple times and from multiple angles. Cutting between them not only adds interest, it also protects you as if you were covered by an insurance policy when editing. Here's some ways to ensure you've got the coverage you need to tell your story and keep your video interesting. The best establishing shot instantly grabs the viewer's attention and helps tell your story. An establishing shot sets a scene in one image. Although super wide shots work well, consider other points of view, from the driver's seat of a speedboat with water skier in tow, or from the cockpit of a classic biplane taking to the air. Breaking up the action in a sequence is a terrific way to build interest and tell a story. Okay, now instead of simply capturing all this in one long shot, piecing all these actions together in a sequence of edits is much more interesting and better filmmaking. You can easily combine wide and tight shots, trucking moves, quick cuts and matched action to build a sequence and tell your story. You can avoid jump cuts by shooting cutaways. 
A jump cut is an edit that creates a disconnect in the viewer's mind. A cutaway, literally a shot that cuts away from the current shot, fixes jump cuts. Your cutaway could be a wide shot, a hand shot, a reverse angle shot, or B-roll footage of the subject you're shooting. So, for getting coverage that helps tell your story and helps smooth things out in an edit as well, cutaway shots are a must. By lighting a scene, you automatically add production value to your video. The way light falls on your subject matter influences everything from camera placement to camera angles to composition. If a scene is poorly lit, it can cause frustration when you try to edit the clip. Paying attention to lighting and using lights effectively will help you avoid disappointment with your movies and totally brighten your outlook. If you're shooting indoors and have a light kit, try traditional three-point lighting. One key light should be placed by the camera and directed back at the subject. A second, smaller backlight should be positioned high behind the subject and spotted down to add highlights and create separation from the subject and the background. Use the third light to illuminate the background or add fill light on the subject. Not surprisingly, a powerful closing shot is important as well. Your closing images are what stick in people's minds, so you should be constantly on the lookout for the one shot or sequence that best wraps up your story. It could be as simple as someone closing a door, turning out the lights, or a leaf floating up over the horizon.